The Airbus A340 filled a unique niche in the Airbus catalogue. It's larger than an A300 with a greater range than an A330. However, in recent years, the A340 has become obsolete and is quickly fading into history. Airbus always planned to build a range of aircraft from small narrow bodies up to four-engine behemoths, particularly to challenge its arch-rival, Boeing. During the early years of Airbus, Lufthansa and other European airlines wanted a four-engine rival to the Boeing 747. When talking to airlines in the marketplace in the early 1980s, Airbus discovered that opinion was split on the number of engines on the new wide body. Adam Brown, Airbus Vice President for Strategic Planning at the time, was quoted as saying the following. North American operators were clearly in favor of a twin, while Asians wanted a quad. In Europe, opinion was split between the two. The majority of potential customers were in favor of a quad despite the fact, in certain conditions, it's more costly to operate than a twin. They liked that it could be ferried with one engine out and could fly anywhere. ETOPS, extended range twin engine operations, hadn't begun then. For many potential customers, the ideal new aircraft would be able to carry more than 200 passengers and also fly over oceans like the Pacific, with enough range to link distant regions such as Asia and Europe. Thus, Airbus would build one airframe and split it over two different models with different engine configurations, a twin-engined medium-haul carrier called the TA-9 and a long-haul version called the TA-11, TA standing for Twin Isle. Airbus predicted that sharing technologies, cost and fuselage design would speed up the process and save around $500 million, about $1.5 billion today. From here, Airbus got to work designing its two new aircraft models. They came up with the following specifications. TA-9 would have a range of 6,100 kilometers or 3,300 nautical miles, and TA-11 would have a range of up to 12,650 kilometers or 6,830 nautical miles. In 1986, Airbus was confident to move forward into production with the two aircraft. Airbus Industries is now in a position to finalize the detailed technical definition of the TA-9, which is now officially designated the A330, and the TA-11, now called the A340, with potential launch customer airlines, and to discuss with them the terms and conditions for launch commitments. Airbus Board Chairman Franz Josef Straub According to some sources, Airbus originally wanted to call the TA-11 the A330 and the smaller aircraft the A340, but airlines didn't understand why the A340, with a 4 in its name, didn't have four engines. Airbus swapped the names around, and the rest is history. Airbus opened the A330 and the A340 for orders in 1987, and initially had 10 different airlines order over 130 aircraft. 89 of these orders were exclusively for the A340, showing that Airbus was right on the money about the aircraft's demand in the marketplace. In 1991, the first A340 took to the skies, and in 1993, Airbus delivered the first A340 to Lufthansa, the original German airline who wanted a quad jet from Airbus. The Airbus A340 would go on to set world records later that year, flying from Paris to New Zealand, the first direct flight between Europe and New Zealand, and the world's longest flight until 1997. In the late 90s, Boeing brought to the market the Boeing 777. This aircraft had all the advantages of the A340 when it came to the range and passenger size, but simply had better economics. Airbus saw what Boeing was up to and tried to compete with a stretched version of the A340 that could seat more and fly further, but this bigger aircraft burned more fuel and cost more to operate. The removal of ETOPS requirements also meant that the Boeing 777's economics simply made more sense for airlines. Thus, sales of the A340 collapsed. In 2005 alone, 144 Boeing 777s were ordered, compared to only 15 Airbus A340s. On the 10th of November 2011, Airbus announced the end of the A340 program, only 20 years after the design first took flight. Its passing would usher in the age of twin-jet aircraft like the Boeing 777 and eventually the A350. Have you ever flown on an Airbus A340? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.